I'm having a really challenging time explaining. It's like the explanation of where it lands with your status of education. Because what happens is when you live in communism, you don't see things clearly. You don't understand what these people are actually doing. And you're you're wooed into witchcraft of manipulation, of a pie-in-the-sky existence, where you think that being happy and joyous is going to get you the job and the gig. However, all it does is let them win and you lose. So an example is watching Mona Van speak at a podcast and then listening to what she's saying and then realizing, like there's a moment of realization where you're like, well, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. None of it actually makes any sense. Brett, whatever her name is, talks in about being married, but it's not logical marriage. Let me give you an example. <clears throat> so today on today's topic, we're gonna and they're gonna copy this shit, but you better pay attention. It's called a mimic. You cannot fake this, though, honestly. You really can't. Okay, so we're going to say that Gary Vaynerchuk is my husband. Um, so on today's show, uh, Gary and myself were actually talking about politics the other night. And I wanted to bring into awareness of what we were discussing because it's really important that we all talk about the awareness around politics and how it actually affects business. So Gary and I got married back in, uh, like, I think it was like seven years ago. Honestly, I'm very bad with dates. And we were on this date night the other night. And when we were sitting there having dinner and we were talking, he wanted to order this bottle of wine. And I told him not to order the bottle of wine because we were busy talking about information. And he knows that I get off topic if he orders a bottle of wine. So anyway, I know I'm digressing, but I had like one glass of wine and what then started to happen was actually I started to get a lot of information to deliver to the audience when my husband and myself were talking about politics. And everything that I'm speaking to you in this moment about me and Gary Vaynerchuk in a conversation has nothing to do with being married. I'm storytelling. Has no, makes no, has no effect on how you're feeling about the messages of the education that I'm delivering to you. Because my priority is that you get, you get information. You get information. There's no reason for you to attack because I'm telling you I'm married to Gary Vee. Now that is coming from these women who brag about diamonds. I would never, ever do this. Except to show you that I would never do it. I think it's disgusting. I don't want you touching the ring. I don't want you holding the ring. This is actually none of your business. I'm here to, I'm here to educate. I'm here to work. And this work shit that I'm up to is really big time shit. So you're either playing the small game of gossip and drama of the Mona Van Gary Vaynerchuk saga of him being undercover. Well, you all fall for that shit, by the way. That's how horrible this shit is. Right now we're diluting the topic of Gary Vee and myself being married. Because she's going to try to bring that Persian shit in. This is not just happening in my platform either. This is happening with all of your relationships. This is what Mona Van wants. This is what Blake Lively wants. This is what Taylor Swift wants. See, we never wanted to see who you were dating except a photo here and there industry fueled off gossip and drama because they wanted to make life a movie and a television show which it actually became an advancement of when Obama took office. Obama had no respect for the United States of America. He literally was wheeling and dealing around the whole globe, disrespecting people, abusing other countries and selling you out to the Middle East, which is a con the countries in between Europe and Africa. So he figured out ways to get you all angry by working with BLM and working politics as in dirty politics based off the Clinton era of Monica Lewinsky. 
So it started with Monica Lewinsky, Bill Clinton. This is what Gary and I were talking about at dinner the other night. Of course, you always tell, you always try to interrupt. He said, don't forget to tell them about that. I said, okay. Um, see, now you got me off track. What was I going to say? So, Bill Clinton stole the philosophies of life or of what, what Ronald Reagan represented as a Republican and made it a Democrat covered up his corruption, got caught by Monica, and then Hillary Clinton turned into a psychopath, and then she spewed out not nasty nonsense and garbage with the help of Pelosi and all those women, and then AOC arrived with Obama, who doesn't have an American citizenship of birth certificate. There's a docu-series out where he actually tells you he worked at the voting house, that I can't find it on the internet, but it's in the documentary that his people made to brag that he worked for the country. Where it also says that he had something to tell his predecessors. This is a HBO docu series. His predecessors. He has. He took. He went into the room and he said, "I have something I need to tell you." And the, they don't tell you what he says. And they say, I don't think it's going to be a concern. He, they also tell you in that docu-series how people, in order to make it look as if it's a fair documentary, is they bring in a couple of women who say that they never really heard anything that Obama was going to do to actually assist the people of Chicago. And he tried to overthrow a man who was actually helping Chicago. However, you as the black community in Chicago, you won that battle. So then he had to regroup and create a new strategy. So all the things that he says about his history of his family and his mother is all staged inauthentic. That's why he acts so weird. That's why he looks like that. And if you look at Kamala Harris of where she is now and where Obama is, they look the same because they're all filthy with out of integrity, which is lies. Go look at Mona Vand and you'll see that same look of out of integrity. And you can look at Gary Vaynerchuk and see how he's confronted so Mona Van doesn't do anything to repair her out of integrity. She just participates it constantly to abuse the American people because she's Persian. Persian. Mona Van is, is Iranian. All those are provocative behaviors between the two of them are nothing more than what Persians actually represent, which is a disgrace to the American people. That is what Obama has allowed to become the new norm on the internet where it started with Bill Clinton bringing the internet into our schools that already were invested with computers. They all took to Donald Trump because he's the, he's the uncover. He's the one uncovering all their out of integrities for the American people. And these kids, they just want a free ride. They want to pretend life exists in a simulation versus actually taking a look at the pain inside themselves. So they want to redirect it onto other people so that they can have frame, fame and fortune. So they all frame Donald Trump. And then he says, okay, well, let's go look for more information so we can expose this shit. That's the secret that you all don't understand. So he's out there undercover right in front of your face, which I keep telling you, and you just keep doing it because there's been no reper repercussions, but we're taking down the Democratic Party. We're taking you down. Why do you think Robert Kennedy Jr. is now assisting Donald Trump? Why do you think the, the family is acting that way because their family is getting exposed? 
for what they've been doing to us for years.